Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me for my wig review today. My name is Teresa and this is Ted's Wig Emporium. In today's video, guys, I want to show you a beautiful new style available at newtimeshair.com website. Her name is Heather. She's made with 100% Mongolian Remy human hair and is in this beautiful brunette shade, color code BRH. Heather hair has been sent to me directly from the Chinese factory. Basically, guys, New Times Hair is a producer and manufacturer of hair systems. They predominantly sell to wig salons, wig professionals and wholesalers but the beauty when ordering directly from the website that a you are in complete control of your wig you can select your own features to your own specifications and b you'll be paying much more affordable price because you are not paying that margin that a wig shop would put on top of the price to sell to you. Yes, the wig I'm wearing at the moment was my first wig by New Times Hair. Um, she's currently my work wig, which I've been wearing for the last three months, five days a week, non-stop to work. She's made with Chinese virgin human hair and comes with a close wefted cap construction. Heather hair comes with fully hand-tied cap with silicone added throughout for a better grip. If you have no hair, the silicone will just hold on to your scalp and give you that extra security. This is a beautiful cup. She's got this extended lace front from ear to ear. She's got a double layer of lace on the top so the knots are hidden within those two layers. The ear tabs are much more softer. They are much more smaller and they do have that metal piece here in the ear tab. The nape is extended, a little bit more softer with my favorite Velc Vel Velcro type adjusters. Heather is made with Mongolian Remy human hair and I must admit it feels even nicer and softer than the Chinese human hair. Currently, Heather is only available in five brunette shades. This one is called BRH, which comes with beautiful multi-tonal highlights and lowlights. The base of the shade is more of a chestnut brown, quite similar to John Renault number no. six. She's also an unrooted color with loads of those beautiful caramel light golden open highlights it's absolutely stunning guys it's more of a neutral leaning towards warm shade this is pretty much straight out of the box the only thing i did was that i've changed that part slightly onto the right hand side i um, sprayed it with some water to moisten the fibers and used heat from the hairdryer just to set that part in place it's absolutely gorgeous guys i love the subtle layering 14 inches here at the front but whopping 20 inches from the back Let me give you a little close-up on that lace front and the parting. The front here overall is a little dense. If you prefer something a little bit more thinner, you can always go ahead and plug some of those fibers from the hairline. It's not too bad. The knots are pretty well done. Because they are a dark shade, it's quite tricky 
for them to be completely invisible. Really nice coverage. Here is that parting. Again, you have the potential to um, thin the parting if you want to by plucking some of the fibers. The density is 150% roughly, but because of the layering, as it comes down to your shoulders, past your shoulders, the density becomes much more natural, much more believable. There is no problem ear tucking this style at all on either side. Now, feet wise, this is meant to be an average size cup. It does feel a little tight on my 21 and a half inches in circumference. There is some um, spare space here in the back. So if you have a fuller head, this wig would fit you really, really nice. Where I've been wearing it for a few hours now, I do feel like the cap is quite tight on my head. Probably if your head is above average size, it might feel a little bit snug. Just to show you the stretch here, there's a lot of stretch, but you might feel just a little bit more tension if your head is bigger than 22 inches in a circumference. Now let's go ahead and trim that lace because I can't wait to see the results. Now I do recommend that you pin the hair back using some clips. Ideally, you want to spray the hair with some fresh water. And brush the fibers back so they don't get cut through. I want to cut as close as possible to that hairline. Avoiding the fibers, of course. The inside is slightly underknotted here, as you can see. So we want to make sure to preserve those fibers as well. Using nice sharp scissors, I'm going to cut close. To that hairline. Now the lace around the edges here where they meet the ear top does stick out a little bit so I'm going to cut this as close as possible. Make sure you don't go past that line here. Now, unlike a welded lace front, guys, the Swiss lace front this wig is made with is much more softer. It won't irritate your skin like the welded lace um, sometimes can. It's very easy to cut and you shouldn't fray um, too easy. Now, one of the other major differences between a Swiss lace front and a welded lace front is that Swiss lace front lacks the tension that you would normally get on a welded lace front. So when you do try to pull the hair back, therefore applying pressure on that lace, that entire section may lift up. So the best thing you can do is apply a little bit of hairspray and, and press it against your temple so that it doesn't lift up here on the sides. You can also bring some baby hairs or keep the layers looser at the front. A beautiful Remy human hair wig like this guys 
even if worn daily, would last you a minimum of one year. Minimum tangling compared to a synthetic wig of that length. It is a perfect option if you like to wear your hair long. Let me guys show you a few different styling options. Can't go wrong with a traditional ponytail. The fact that this wig is fully hand tied and it's also at a really decent density will allow you to part the hair at the back. However, be mindful not to pull the hair too far apart to reveal the silicone attached to the hand tied cap. If you like wearing your hair away from your face, I highly recommend adding some baby hairs, especially on a darker wig that normally softens the hairline and just gives you that more natural looking hairline. My overall score, 9 out of 10, with a little bit of hairline plucking and some baby hairs, she is going to be perfect guys. She is absolutely amazing. I think New Times Hair did a marvellous job with Heather. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you next time. Bye bye.